that why we all like Gandhi is because he is um, speaking what he is doing, what he's doing what he's speaking. And this this connection between what you say and what you do, what is missing in the political world of today, because you are asking about the relevance. We live in a world where words are losing its meaning. Say something, don't do it. Manifestos and constitutions and writings, but we don't do it. So Gandhi was insisting on, do what you say, say what you do. Right? This, this connection between what you say and what you do is very, very important. And that is losing its relevance. So we need to recreate that. That is the relevance of Gandhi. And the famous quotation that be the change that you want to see in the world. <laughs> you, don't, you don't change others. Be the change that you want to bring in the world. So that's very important. The second um, area was his understanding about the way wealth is being created in this world. You know, he was opposing this development model from day one because he knew that it is too only need and not enough for anybody's greed is a famous quotation. What is important is a need-based development model, all-inclusive development model, bottom-up development model, which will not create so much wealth for one percentage of the, the population and poverty and deprivation for millions. So those are very relevant today. His economic theory is very relevant today. His uh, political theory is very relevant today. So every day when I when I revisit Gandhi, I think he's very relevant. He's relevant in every field. So I consider that his philosophies are becoming more and more relevant in today's world.